Stop whatever you're doing, because this is an emergency appeal produced by the S Report on behalf of Her Majesty's Department of Things You Should Be Afraid Of. Swans. They look innocent enough, don't they? Invented during World War II to boost morale during the Blitz, the swan has since become a common sight on British waters, found all over the country. Over time, they've built themselves a reputation in our communities as peaceful, law-abiding waterfowl. But little did we know, we were being played for fools. That's right. The peace was an illusion, as only now the swans have showed their true colours. And they ain't pretty. Case in point, 48-year-old Gregor from Basingstoke. He supports his wife and 14 kids by dredging scum from ponds. It's a hard enough life as it is, but he did not ask for what happened to him one fateful Thursday morning. In his own words, Gregor recounts his terrifying ordeal. His story will shock you up harder than licking an electrical capacitor, which turned out to be only the second worst thing that happened to Gregor that day. So, um, uh, it was on Thursday when I went to this pond where I am gal of or done at, and I saw this swan, like before that, but I'd never actually seen a swan in real life, I just, um, I just seen it on TV, so um, naturally I was uh, very excited to um, go up to it. I went up to it like I waded in like, the water, and uh, I went up to the swan to um, introduce myself, get friendly with it, invite up for a drink, you know, um, exchange business contacts, you know, normal people things. Uh, but what I didn't realize that the uh, swan had a couple of his mates come by me, they were also swans. I, they grab me from behind, like tie my arms by my back, and drag me onto the river bank, like lake bank. And they push my face into the mud. They um, hog tied me, hog tied me up. And then the uh, lead swan came up to me, grabbed my um, head, his beak, tore it off, and threw it on the other side of like, the pond. Uh, I went over, get, get like my head, which is on the other side of the pond, uh, ran out of some cold water, stuck it back on. Uh, it was fine really, but the psychological effect was um, quite disturbing. I don't think I could ever get that noise out of my head of a thousand, like, not that, it sounded like a thousand swans cackling, baying for my blood, like, Remember, never attempt to engage with a swan directly. Do not make eye contact with a swan. Just walk away from the swan as fast as you can. Only call authorities if you are involved in a serious situation such as an armed combat situation. <laughs>